all right everybody I'm back had uh, long 13 hair was wanting to see the walking stick so I figured I'd dig it out and after getting a little muddy today out in the swamp and show you what it looks like and what I got and why I got it so it's uh <clears throat> five foot one long and it's anywhere from inch and a quarter, inch and a half diameter. Uh, it's probably, could probably gone now for the summer, but in the winter time, I put a about a quarter inch, half inch nail in there for uh, icy conditions, which is kind of handy. It works as an ice pick, basically. Um, the marks on it <coughs> are uh, the black marks for every foot. The blue marks for every six inches and let me move my cord out of the way here the ranger bands <clears throat> I use them for a lot of different things uh, everything I carry I try to get multi-purpose try to remember that one is none and two is one uh, I kind of like that uh, kind of like that saying makes sense though uh, the ranger bands are good for cordage, fire, fire extender. Um, use them for, I use them for holding on. I also have a, let me turn this around. <coughs> kind of hard to work with a small spot like this in a five foot pole. Here I keep my frog, frog gig. I use my ranger bands for holding that on. It works great. I don't move around. I was out again today out back in the woods and didn't slip a bit stayed right with me the whole time and uh, works good for that up here I got uh, under this ranger band if I can get it off it's on there pretty good it ain't just gonna fall off that's for sure up on this one I got a stove bolt with a wing nut that holds my frog gig on okay and in my kit, my possible's pouch, I carry another wing nut and bolt in case I lose this one. This here's an eyelet for use it like a cane pole. You run a fish line through it, toss it out there, get this out of your way, take it off, run your line through there, it'll help you get it out a little bit further. This part here is just a cap so I don't gouge my eye out. I try to make the pole, you know, it's it comes up to uh, my chin probably but it's not gonna jab you as easy if it's longer like that this here I just used to put a quarter inch stud in the end and I can mount my camera to it so I, if I am in the swamp I can just stick it in the ground still record or I can use the ranger bands and grab two more sticks and make a tripod out of it and it'll work that way too I'm looking for a ball joint universal job actually a one of those cheap dollar store miniature uh, tripods would work really well for that. I could mount it to the top and then you'd have the swivel effect also. A little bit of leather cordage. Um, what else do I got to tell you about it? It's a good defensive weapon, club, ward off invaders, critters, so you don't have to shoot them, you know. I don't like to have to shoot nothing, especially critters, unless I have to, you know. Um, it's good for hunting. You take something out and go frog gigging. Beat yourself a raccoon over the head, whatever you got to do. If you got to survive, you got to survive. Work for a good, uh, good measuring stick, see how deep the water hole is or what have you before you jump in it. Um, you put it in a lot of places you shouldn't have your hands, poke around in some holes. Might be some snakes in there. Or, again, another mean little critter. You never, never know. Um, use it for balancing yourself on rough ground water crossings and uh, just various various uses so I don't uh, this is kind of like my neck knife I don't go in the woods without it and without my chopper I just just to rule the thumb while I'm out there it comes in such handy such handy so with that everybody I guess uh, I got it pretty covered there ain't much left to talk about on it um, all I know is it's got its form and function and its uses and it's working out good for me. So any other ideas, tips, or tricks, let me know.
Don't forget to sub my channel and like the video. And check out my 100 sub giveaway. I got some great stuff I'm giving away. So with all that, I have to say to y'all, good night and God bless.